Amy Williams and Butch Wilmore, the two NASA astronauts who have been stuck in the International Space Station for more than 150 days and counting. They are speaking out amid health concerns, reassuring the public they're doing well and explaining how they're staying healthy in space. NBC's Emily Akeda reports. This morning, NASA trying to put an end to concerns over the health of two astronauts stranded in space now more than 150 days longer than planned. Yeah, I think there's some rumors around out, outside there that I'm losing weight and stuff. Recent images of Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore prompting questions about possible weight loss and the status of their health. But Williams saying this week she weighs the same as she did at launch. Explaining how zero gravity can impact their appearance in space. I think things shift around quite a bit. You know, there's you probably heard of a fluid shift where um, folks in space, you know, their heads look a little bit bigger because the fluid evens out along the body. NASA's chief medical officer says crew health is regularly monitored by dedicated flight surgeons on Earth, and they have an individual diet and fitness regime to ensure they remain healthy. Right. I'm going to get off our treadmill here. That includes running, biking, and lifting. Wilmore, a former football star for Tennessee Tech, telling his alma mater. We work out two and a half hours a day every single day, so it's, a, it's a great to stay in shape. Former astronaut Mike Massimino says exercise in space is important to make up for the lack of physical stress on the body while experiencing weightlessness. He's just floating from one space to the other and there's no load or we would call like forces on your on your body or your muscles or your bones. And we need the, that stuff to remain healthy, especially when you come back to Earth. Williams and Wilmore's return to Earth has been significantly delayed after helium leaks and thruster issues emerged on Boeing Starliner back in June. They were only expected to stay in space for roughly a week, but now will fly home in a different capsule with the SpaceX Crew-9 mission in February. But this morning, the space agency reassuring its astronauts on board the International Space Station right now are in good health.